So imagine you're looking for investing advice and your friend says you should invest in EA Sports. They're a really good company and they'll make you a lot of money. Well in this video I'll be explaining why your friend is terribly wrong. It is true that EA Sports makes some of the most popular video games such as Apex Legends, FIFA, Madden, Star Wars Battlefront, NBA 2K, and F1. EA Sports has also made $4.95 billion in net income in 2019. Another popular gaming company, Activision Blizzard, made $2.2 billion. So EA had twice as much net income as Activision did in 2019. This might all sound like good news because EA Sports makes some of the most popular video games today, and they also make a lot of money compared to competitors. But we have to dig a little bit deeper into this company to see if it's really worth buying. I talked to five or so different people who who regularly play EA games and ask them about the actual gaming experience. Everyone I talked to said EA Sports is too focused on microtransactions and making money, which really pisses off players. EA Sports made $4.95 billion in net income in 2019. Their main competitor, Activision, made only $2.2 billion the same year. And another competitor of EA Sports, Ubisoft, made only $116 million that same year. The two main reasons why EA makes a lot more money than their competitors is because they have a larger player base and also they make use of microtransactions. These microtransactions make EA a lot of money, but they really piss off the players. Why the players hate these microtransactions is because in other games you can usually level up and each time you level up you can unlock new cosmetics. But EA makes it so you can buy all this stuff right off the bat, so their games are more focused on money than skill or enjoyment of the game. Also EA refreshes most of their games every year, so like you have FIFA 20 and FIFA 21, but each yearly refresh doesn't change much of the game. It changes just enough that you want to buy the newest version, but doesn't impact the game game in any major ways. This is similar to what Apple does with most of their iPhones. And then we have to look at EA's metrics. All but two of EA's great company metrics are red, and for the good price valuation, only one of them is green. The good price metrics show that now is not the time to buy EA Sports, and Guru Focus also rates EA as modestly overvalued. The great company metrics are a little better than the good price metrics, but they also show that we should not buy EA. In conclusion, even though EA Sports makes some of the most popular games today, we should not invest in them because they are not favored among gamers and many of their metrics show that they are not a good company and we will not be investing at a good price. Now is not the time to buy EA Sports.